what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. If you guys follow the channel, you probably are well aware by now that we've had this baby in the background of a lot of our videos for a little while now. This is the FlashForge Adventurer 5M Pro. Obviously, it's fully enclosed. It has no AMS in it. Simple one spool at a time, pretty basic. We attached a blink camera over here because there doesn't have a built-in camera. So we didn't do a lot of videos on this. However, a lot of our prints that you probably see in some of our videos have been made in this machine and it's been awesome. Today though, thanks to some of the deals I had going on in the last week or so, we finally, I wanna say, upped our game and got our first AMS machine. And that is this baby right here, the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini combo so it has that four spool AMS filler on it. Let's go ahead and unbox this and take a quick look. So as you guys can see from the packaging this is the actual A1 itself the A1 mini and then the actual AMS side piece attachment. If you choose not to use this you don't have to. It does have a single spool feeder on the back which is kind of why you can see this tube here. Let's go ahead and quickly crack into this and show you what you get inside. The beauty of this is that it does come mostly assembled and allegedly you should be up and running in about 15 minutes. And once you remove the box, you can see, as we kind of alluded to, a lot of it is all pre-assembled. Let me go ahead and cut this plastic off. Here is that AMS, set this to the side, just for now. We'll go ahead and move these pieces out of the way. It does come very well packaged. Everything is very secure. Since there are some moving pieces here, you obviously don't want any of that to ever get damaged. Even including some of the pieces under the arm. And as you can see, once you take everything out of the packaging, this is your A1 Mini, and it does obviously stick true to its name. It is a much smaller build plate than what you will get in a lot of other printers nowadays. Um, but for beginners or first time people wanting to use AMS systems, this could be possibly one of the best options out there, especially at its current price point, which is around 300 bucks for the combo. Um, that does obviously vary from time to time, just depending on what deals they have going on. But for that price point, uh, and for this size bed, I believe it's 180 cubed. Um, this is actually going to be great for a lot of veterans and newcomers alike. So aside from the actual machine itself here, you do obviously have your build plate like we were talking about. You have a touchscreen display here on the bottom right hand side. And then over here, you're going to have, as you can see, that AMS uh, spools for all four, your reading material, you're going to have, it looks like some disclaimer and safety guides, the filament swatches, I didn't know if it still came with it, super glad to see this is here. This is gonna help you decide on what colors you might need to order. Um, and then like I said, those spools on the side that'll clip into place on the actual uh, AMS itself, which we'll put together in a second. We're gonna go ahead and speed through this, get this assembled and be right back. So as you can see, it truly was as quick as about 15 minutes with setup. And that is mostly due to the actual AMS piece here where I had to feed up everything through each of the four locations for the spools to fit on, but it really was as quick as advertised. Now, as you can see also, I did run the obvious benchy that we have to do with the multi-color here. And I have to say, and I'm going to zoom in a little closer for you guys, it looks really, really good. So this did take a little over, or right around 20 minutes to do. And then I also did one of those impossible objects, as you guys can see here. And I'll just pull it out and you can see this was a single print on the bed that can obviously just sit. You probably got, have seen all these by now and just kind of get pulled through. 
but it does work very well. This is something that my other Flash Forge did struggle with. So having said all that, it is definitely slower from all the prints you do find in the Bamboo Handy app. But again, more specifications aside, yes, that bed, like we said, is 180 by 180 by 180. The chassis is steel and the extruded aluminum. The hot end is all metal, all metal, which will definitely make it nice. And the nozzle is stainless steel as well. The max hot end temperature is about 300 degrees Celsius. And obviously the max speed of the tool head is 500 millimeters a second. And max acceleration is 10,000 millimeters per second as well. So it does actually print pretty quickly and on par with what the actual Flash Forge uh, Adventure 5M Pro does. But one thing, even without an enclosure, this is possibly one of the quietest 3D printers I've used. And we've used quite a few at this point. Uh, it's just so impressive, I gotta say. So, I want to go ahead and show you also now the machine up close. So, this is it. You can see it's actually running a print right now. We are obviously talking through a mic, not the handheld camera itself. But this is super, super quiet. I wish you can hear. One thing that you always hear about on all these other videos you watch in regards to these AMS systems is the little poop shoot over here and yeah you can see quite a few little poop shoots have already come out. It does seem to take a little while longer to actually heat up and calibrate. That is something you can change on this fully touch screen area here. Um, but if you leave it how it is without tweaking any settings here keep that in mind. It will take probably a little longer than what you would anticipate. As far as this AMS, I really do like this design. Yes, it's not ideal because of how much extra room it takes. You can see on this table alone just the actual size needed to run this machine since it doesn't sit on top like some of the other 3D printers do. But got to say it is definitely a good looking machine that comes preset really ready to go out of the box. There was a day one update for us when we actually first use this and attached it to the Wi-Fi. So keep that in mind as well. But aside from the AMS, aside from just having to plug it in and attach the little poop shooter, there was not too much else to be done here to set up this machine to be ready to go. We had to unlock the X axis so everything could move as needed. But yeah, pretty easy, plain and simple. One last call out specifically for this AMS, which is something I really want to focus in on simply because I think that's a lot of the reason a lot of people will get this A1 mini combo. As you can see here, we have only three filaments in. We haven't filled in a spool on the fourth. None of these are Bamboo's official filaments and they are working perfectly fine. You have to simply adjust and say which filament is in which area. Is it in one, two, three, or four? You can do it straight on the touchscreen or in the app. It is super easy to use and to make sure it is set up with the proper colors and to select which layers you want for that. But as you can see, it's printing pretty well. We'll be doing a full review. This is meant to just show you a quick first look at the machine and how it works and definitely impressed so far. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you picking one up? Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.